Hey guys, this is Josh McCary from Omada Golf. Today, it is a cold, cold New England day, but it's kind of warm for us. Uh, so we're gonna be taking a look before we get to spring at these two awesome carts that we have before you. One is the Click Gear 3.5, many of you may know of it. The other is our brand new Omada Golf Trilite. We're gonna be going over each features of each cart and what makes them so different from each other. We are going to be looking at three things how easy these carts are to get out of the car and into the car, how easy they are to unfold and expand, and then how easy they are to compress and put back in the vehicle. So let's get into it. As you can see, the click gear is a little bit taller. It's not flat, so you wouldn't be able to stack the, and you know, actually, in fact, I, actually, I have a second tri-light here. Obviously, they're a bit flatter. I'm just gonna show you that we could two of these stack to about the same height as the, tri as the click gear. So the tri-light is a much flatter cart. It's not gonna take up as much room uh, vertically as the click gear will. All right, I'm gonna take the click gear out now. Let's take a look. So first I'm gonna pull as it expands. I'm just flip it around. You'll hear the, hear the click. That's good. And then the cart. We'll expand. I got the brake on right now, but yep, that's that's how you're gonna undo the click here. Now we're gonna take a look at what the triad looks like. I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna unlock these right off the bat. Okay. This one, get it down. And that is the tri light. All right, so immediately when taking this out, I don't know if I have the right way of doing it. Uh, so I did it to the best of my ability. It looks like it's a three or four step process. It's kind of a little awkward to pull open because uh, I don't know how it's supposed to sit. It's obviously a much bigger card. There are more pieces to it, but I did the best I could. As far as the tri light goes, you know, you really can't beat that two lock mechanism that just allows you to just kind of fling it open. It almost, gravity almost does the work for you, which is just super nice about the cart. But um, ultimately getting them out, I think uh, the video will accurately re you know, represent how easy the, the tri light was to get out. So let's break them down and put them back in and see what it looks like. All right, let's see with the tri light what it's gonna look like. Same process. I'm just gonna lock it up. Now with the click gear, push. My first, I mean, just impressions of putting it away. Okay, you can't deny the fact that this cart weighs 21 pounds, this one weighs 14, as you saw. The, the trilay was a one-handed operation, just, lo just a matter of getting the locks locked so that's in place when I go to pick it up. And of course, the click here, I'm having to turn the cart around and do some different things, and it's a lot heavier even when putting it back. But um, again, pros and cons, uh, it's a much heavier cart, it's to be expected. Uh, has some weird kind of folding metrics that you gotta like flatten in the front wheel. You know, that's kind of the penalty you pay with having to, uh, having that much bigger front wheel, but ultimately, the, I'll let the video speak for itself. You guys can tell me what you think. So first thing we'll, we'll cover is the center console here with the click gear. Uh, when you put your phone in, that is about as much space as you have. Um, you can see I'm trying to, trying to put it in there. Um, it's made of all plastic, so it is durable on the inside. You do have three uh, three little ball holder slots here. Close it up, it's magnetized and on the outside, you'd put your scorecard here just like that. And that's the center console. You do have a net here um, for some extra storage. When you put a phone in there, that's what it looks like. You do have at the top here, you have three T holder spots, uh, which are really nice to have on the course. But yeah, it's a pretty standard setup here. You do have these two slots here for accessories. Uh, typically a cup holder of sorts, something like that. You do have a pretty hard grip here. Uh, it's, there's not much cushion, it's pretty, it's almost like a leather of sorts um, that's you know pretty hard. Uh, gives you decent grip to push the cart and, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the top console. 
So now we're gonna take a look at the Trilight uh, center console here. As you can see, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, if you totally unfold it, you have a lot of space. So as you can see, I'm just gonna put my phone in there. That's what it would look like with a phone in there. You know, there's, as you can see, a lot more space. It's, it's not made of plastic, hard plastic, so you can, you can really fit a good chunk of stuff in there. Um, on the outside here, this is uh, the handbrake. So it's as simple as that, turning the brake on and off. Super simple, super accessible. Um, on the side, you have a gravity-fed cup holder, which essentially goes on just like that. You pull it down, and as you walk up and down, your drink will, uh, will stay centered and level. You have, three, you have actually four tea holders up here, which can allow you obviously that same easy access that the click here has. And then you actually are gonna have your scorecard holder right here at the top where your pencil would slide in. You just basically clip it on from the, uh, from the top there. So the top handle here is actually a, fo is a ribbed foam um, grip. So it's a lot, it's, a, it's very grippy and it sort of cushions as you push the cart. It's less, uh, it's not as firm, it, it's sort of a cushiony uh, feel. Now on the back side of the Trilight, we have uh, two different uh, slots here. They're mesh slot, mesh pockets on the back that give you a little bit extra uh, room for putting accessories. Makes it so you can take your phone here and instead of maybe you want to put some other stuff in here, maybe it's filled and you want to put your phone right here. Allows you to play your speaker uh, or, or something like that right back at you and you can sort of have easy access to it. Uh, so a nice feature on the back of the Trilight. So up here is an accessory holder mount. So essentially any of the accessories that, that we sell you know, you can basically lock, uh, it locks on here and we'll show you that right now. And uh, basically you can put an umbrella holder, actually a couple different types of umbrella holders. Um, you know, and obviously we sell a nice, a UV protected umbrella so that when it's, it's a hot day or it's super rainy or muggy out, whatever it is, you're protected on the golf course. As far as positioning goes, the umbrella on the Trilight or the accessory holder would go on the left side. So you're basically gonna have full grip uh, ability here on the front. The umbrella is gonna go up on the side, should be out of the way. It's a little different on this cart. The way they designed it actually is so that it screws on just like this. And you know, that's that's the umbrella holder. So it's gonna, so when you're walking, you're gonna have it. Um, one thing to note is it will be right in front of your face. One of the one of the differences here on the umbrella uh, section of the cart is that the, the click gear is, a, is stationary. So it doesn't go either way doesn't go forward and back it's it's it sits it screws on and that's it one of the unique features here on the trilight actually which is cool um, is that you can actually rotate it every single direction so forward back left to right which gives it a lot of mobility on the course so if you have wind coming from the left of you or sun coming from rising or setting from one direction or the other it's actually going to give you a good ability to sort of manipulate the umbrella where it, where it's at and how it's moving so you can actually change it up around the course to uh to track whatever sun or elements you're in, whether it be wind or sun or whatever it is. So on the click gear, the handbrake is located right behind. It is also a handbrake. Um, it's a front wheel. So this one, the brake is on the wheel. Um, and on this one, the brake is actually on the right wheel. So if I kick the brake on, it locks into place and then that right wheel stops. Whereas the click gear, if the lock is on, that front wheel won't go anywhere. So one of the big differences uh, with the two carts, obviously the size of the, of the click gear is a lot bigger. Uh, it's a wider frame, it's a longer frame. Uh, the wheels are much larger, but also the weight is much greater. So with this cart, when you're moving it, lugging it, pushing it, whatever you do with the cart, it's a 20 pound cart, whereas the Trilight is a 14 pound cart. So you save about six pounds on the weight of, of pushing it around all day. As far as durability goes, I have to say that the, that the click gear, it, it sort of lives up to the reputation. Uh, it has a bunch of different sort of extra braces that make it um, definitely a fantastic car as far as uh, keeping it strong under heavy conditions, whether it be going over hard, difficult terrain or you know whatever, whatever you might be running into on a golf course, this thing is definitely gonna handle it. The wheels are much bigger. So as you can see, we've gone from, these are pretty big diameter wheels whereas these are a lot smaller, well, the front wheel is smaller, and even the back wheels are smaller. Um, if you're gonna be going over, you know, heavy rocks uh, or, or, you know, logs, et cetera, you know, this, this thing is definitely gonna hold up probably better than this one. On the flip side of that, the turning radius is a lot more difficult on this one, so like to move it left or right, obviously lifting it up with the bag on it, but then also uh, as you move it on the course, 
they're just much bigger wheels um, to, to move around. So this one's a much, a much easier move. So between the two carts, um, as we move over to the Trilight, we talk about durability. The Trilight is made with aircraft grade aluminum, so it keeps a very, very light frame while maintaining strength. We've run this cart for over a year and we've run it through all of its paces and gone through mud, sticks, stones, um, everything and anything that we could find, we ran it through. And you know, after a year, there was absolutely, I mean, there was wear, but there was no tear. Um, the thing held up really well. And you know, you're not gonna have any issues with the Trilight as far as durability. And I have to say the same thing about the Click Air. As far as durability goes, these two carts are both fantastic uh, in their class. So now we're just gonna try testing, putting the bag on each, see how easy it is, um, and go through that real quick. So to put on the Trilight, you're just gonna lay it down. You know, there's adjustable on the side, so you can, you, you have these little fins on each side that you can kind of tighten it up. And all you're gonna do is basically run it through. And now that one strap, you have two straps, one at the top, one at the bottom, and it's the exact same thing on the other side. To take it off, very similar, same process. Just getting it unhooked, and then that's it. As far as the click gear, has a very similar system. You're basically gonna go like that. Make sure these have the same kind of fins here on the outside. Basically gonna take it, take it, put it down, on the front here, same thing. That one's connected. As far as connection goes, these are very, very similar um, features. If you guys are interested in the Trilight, make sure to visit us at omadagolf.com. We have the Trilight plus accessories, plus a bunch of other cool stuff like apparel and golf products. Go to our website. At the top of the navigation bar, you can actually see a call us now button. Be sure to reach out if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. We wanna make sure that every single person that sees it has the best experience with a Trilight possible. We know it can be tough ordering online, so we wanna make this process absolutely seamless. Free shipping, you have a one year warranty on the Trilight. 15 days you can return the product. We'll pay to have it shipped back directly to our office. One way or the other, we're gonna make sure that you enjoy this purchase or we're gonna bring it back because that's how confident we are in the Trilight.